Hey, hey, y'all. So it's me, Tessa, from Gemini's Corner, your favorite tarot reader. I'm going to give you some energy for today. So you know what to do. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you'll know when a new video comes out. <clears throat> for all your coffee needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com. And let's get into this. So I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I know I normally do like what's your energy and stuff but I feel like <clears throat> reading on them okay so first of all what energy are they in what's Gemini's person's energy okay confront so they're confronting some things they may be confronting themselves okay opportunity beckons they know there's something that they have to deal with or something that they have to confront <clears throat> in order to okay so they know mm. okay i'm actually liking this actually so they're well aware that they're not putting in the effort that they should be they know it and they know that this situation with you is an opportunity that they don't want to miss. A lot of them have been confronting their heart chakra. Okay. Fours may be significant. <clears throat> four, four, four. Fours may, may be significant. But I feel like this person <clears throat> is also wanting some sort of stability. Grounding. A lot of them may be grounding. Whenever I think of stability, I think of grounding. Maybe some kind of earth energy. Tens at the end of a cycle. Wow. Libra energy showing up here. Libra, heavy Libra energy. And then the number two. So making some kind of decision. Okay. <clears throat> Sevens, seven, seven, seven. Three may be significant. Seven plus three is also 10. So the ending of a cycle. Wow. Some of you guys are dealing with Libra showing up in Gemini. Some of y'all are dealing with a Libra. Some of you, some for some of you, your person is a Libra. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this person knows they haven't been putting in the effort that they're supposed to be putting in to this connection. They absolutely know it. Okay. I feel like <clears throat> this is an opportunity that I feel like they didn't see coming. And once it's presented itself. They are in like deep thought trying to figure out, okay, how do I get from here to over there? How do I get from here to there? I f There's something that they want to put behind them. Okay. Something that they may have with this infinity symbol here, something that they may have thought was going to be forever or they promised forever to until. Okay. They thought they had it all figured out until. But now these, this person is wishing on a star. How do I get from here to there? Okay. So this is somebody that I feel like you're dealing with them, but it may be in a minimal kind of way. Okay. I don't feel like this is somebody that you're just not dealing with at all. <clears throat> Heart chakra. For some of you guys, this person is really dealing with their heart, confronting their feelings. Okay. Confronting their feelings. For some of you guys with this, this grown adult male, but this child showing up over here, for some of you guys, the heart issues that they have stem from when they were a child. Okay. And they need to come there. So, so for some of you guys, they're confronting child issues or issues from childhood. For some of you guys, they may have mommy issues and they're drawn to you because of the nurturing nature that you have. You may have been told that you are a nurturer by this person or that you're so caring and nurturing that you will make a good mother or something to that effect. Okay. Um, but I feel like there's some heart center issues that this people that this person is confronting or needs to confront that stem from childhood. This person wants to make a move seven. Remember I said sevens and then we wrote the dice in seven, 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 seven. For some of you guys, your affirmation may be, I'm the luckiest person in the world. I'm the luckiest woman in the world. I'm the luckiest man in the world. I'm the luckiest girl in the world. I am a lucky girl, whatever. That would be a good affirmation. I am the luckiest. I am lucky. But this person wants to make a move that's heart centered. Okay. Whenever I see this, 
there's a culture and I can't remember what, what it is that when marriage happens, they do this kind of union thing with, with some kind of tapestry or cloth. This is something that, that can move towards marriage. I feel like, okay. But definitely this person wants to make a move that's heart centered. <clears throat> Y'all, we're going to be a we going to be a minute here so cuz I'm feeling in the mood for a longer one. At least 30 minutes here, so strap in. Let me make sure. I want to make sure that all my cards start off upright so if they reverse, you know what it's supposed to be. Okay. The lovers Gemini energy. This is definitely somebody who sees you as a lover. They may have called you their lover. You may have called them your lover. But I also feel like once again, that this person has something already. Okay. So this definitely may be a lover situation where there's another party involved. Okay. Gemini energy. If not, then... <clears throat> the lover's card is also seen as like the twin flame card. So this definitely could be a twin flame union if you get into that whole twin flame union. Um, but also, the lover's is about making a decision also. Okay. Got the lover's here. What's this confront and heart chakra? Okay. Three, rebirth, death and rebirth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could be definitely, yeah. So I feel like there's, there's some kind of heartbreak that happened to this person, okay? They could have been in another situation where there's a third party. Y'all know that three of swords, what it means to me. But I feel like there's a healing that needs to happen or a rebirth that needs to happen from prior pain, okay? Even with this heart chakra and confront, like I said, for some of you guys, I feel like this is a childhood issue. Maybe they saw things with their parents, with their mother, with their father. Something that has had to do in the relationship department, okay? Or just relationships that they had when they were younger. But I feel like there's a death and a rebirth happening for this person. Um, what, do, what do you call that? A dark night of the soul, whatever they call it. I definitely feel like there's some something happening. Meeting you, being with you, being in union with you triggered this because I feel like they felt like they knew what their love life was going to look like from here on out. I think that they felt they had a handle on that until they bumped into you and all the things that they thought love could never be, um, actually can be. And now it has them questioning. Okay. Now it has them questioning. I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made by this person in terms of another person. Five of Cups. I feel like they've experienced a good amount of disappointment and despair when it comes to love. Five of Cups, Scorpio energy. Um, and that was an issue. That was an issue for them with this Three of Swords. They may, that may, you may feel like you can't get close enough to them or there's a blockage there when it comes to the heart chakra or when it comes to their heart. You may feel like there's something stopping you from getting closer. But I feel like that per this person is confronting that. They're not going to have a choice. I don't think they're going to have a choice. And if you left it up to me, they wouldn't have a choice. Because <laughs> my affirmation would be this person loves me and they, they can't help it. They love me. They are in love with me. Period. They express their love for me. And that's, what I, and that's where I would stay until that happened. This opportunity beckons. Heavy Scorpio energy here also with this death card and this five of cups. But what's the opportunity beckons? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> when I rolled the dice, I told you twos would be significant here. So there's an opportunity. They look at you and the relationship with you as an opportunity. And I feel like it's an opportunity that to them feels like an upgrade. That's way too many. 
you got a decision here. Like I said, the lovers is also about a decision. What's this opportunity back in? Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. This person feels like a life with you, a relationship with you is an opportunity. And it's an upgrade to them. Okay? It's something that they know would be prosperous. Something that they, that they would experience growth. Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Something that they, that you and this person could prosper together. Okay? So not only just an emotional connection, but a very... Um, yeah. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Something that would bring you guys out of... And not to say that you guys are in like despair financially neither you or this person because i really don't get that but i just feel like with this five of pentacles seven pentacles together they're looking at it like you guys could really be prosperous together okay more taurus energy and that's important to them yeah there would be a balance here more libra energy some of y'all dealing with a libra there would be a balance here okay Whereas the person that they're dealing with now, maybe they are the sole provider or the sole breadwinner winner, and there's no balance there financially. An opportunity which you would bring financial balance or you guys could prosper together. That's what I feel like. Oops. Clarify dedicated effort. Reverse. Okay. This person has been kind of. That's the way the damn card came out. Okay. This person has been kind. So this person won't go far enough away from you for you to move on. They just kind of hang in there. Okay. But they know that they're not putting in full effort. They know that because they're trying to figure things out. Bottom of the deck. Like I said, I feel like there's another energy here, but I feel like, <clears throat> I feel like you will see a difference in the effort once that, once they've made a decision to end this. Okay. With this world card. I feel like there's a lot of disharmony in that situation. Five, mm -hmm. Five of Wands. And I feel like there's somebody here trying to hold on to this situation. Because no matter what, we, we've all been in situations where we were with somebody and we weren't the person who wanted to let go, but they did and we could feel it. We could feel the shift in that person. We could feel that that person didn't really want to be there. The conversations changed. The energy changed when you were with that person. We've all been in that situation. That's what's going on right here. So this person is not putting in the effort that they're supposed to be. And this person could even be really trying to see and see can they make this work. But I'm telling you, keep affirming. Because they can't. They can't, un they can't ignore this connection at all. They can't. Okay, Pisces energy, Cancer energy, Sagittarius energy, Leo energy. <clears throat> What's this move? Mm -hmm. Two of Cups, Judgment. This person is going <laughs> to... This person is going to make a decision to come towards this soulmate connection. I already knew that, though, with this move card. Two hands, two hands, a heart a connection. This is somebody who, when they come in, they're coming in. They are coming in when they come in. Okay? There's a decision that they have to make, though. There's a decision. They're going to choose a different path. Two of, so, uh, two of Wands, Aries energy. Six of Wands, Leo energy. This person wants to come... And be successful. This two of wands, eight of wands, six of wands equals eight of wands. I feel like once they make the decision and they stand on that decision, things are going to move very quickly. When this person comes in, they are coming in. Pisces, Libra energy or any water sign. Water energy here with this page of cups in the emperor, which is just a divine masculine or an Aries energy. Okay. This emperor card. Two of Cups, when this person's come in, come in, they're going to be proposing marriage. I told you, there's a culture, I can't remember what it is. My first degree is in religion. And so I studied all different kinds of religions and cultures. And there's a culture where they tie the hands, okay, during the marriage ceremony. Um, and so that's where I get this marriage from. When this person comes in. 
they're going to come in asking for marriage. My affirmation, if you want marriage, my affirmation would be this person proposes to me. This person proposed to me if you want to do it in the past. Stuff like this, I like to say it in a way that isn't triggering. So like for me, my affirmation would be he's going to ask me to marry him. He's going to propose to me because he's going to kind of makes it feel like, yeah, it ain't happened yet, but it definitely is. You see that energy? So my affirmation would be, oh, he's going to propose to me or he's going to ask me to marry, to ask to marry me. And that would be my affirmation because, yeah, it's putting it in the future, but it's giving like a definite feel to it. Like, yeah, it ain't happened yet, but it definitely is. Um, For something like this, that would be easier for me. If I was doing this, it would be easier for me than saying, oh, he proposed to me and staying in that story. Okay. Or we're, we're going to live together. We're, he's going to ask me to live with him. Or he's going to, um, he's going to, we're going to get, let's just say you guys are in separation. You want to get back together. Oh, we're going, we're getting back together. We're going to get back together. He's going to ask me to be his girlfriend. She's going to ask me to be her boyfriend, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> that may be a little easier for some of y'all who can't wrap their brain around the whole Saying it like it's already happened. Let's see. Ace of Cups, Two of Wands. I'm telling you, there's a decision. <clears throat> in terms of love that this person is making or has to make. I feel like someone here knows something, something has ran its course or knows that, that the cycle is over and they may be trying to sneak away. Okay. Um, because they don't want to deal with, the. Uh, the fallout of what will happen when they leave. They don't want to deal with the emotional part of it. They know that somebody will be, be betrayed or feel betrayed if they turn their back on this person. I feel like this, this other situation, I feel like this is, they've been apart before. Okay. And maybe the last time they got back together, this person may have said, Hey, you know what? This is for the long haul. They may have promised that. <sighs> well. Somebody asked me, what if the other person is manifesting just like you or affirming just like you? What if? Without getting too deep into quantum physics, that there, there are infinite versions of a person, of you, of me, of everybody. There, there's infinite versions, infinite realities. Okay. Um, so you could be experiencing this person in your reality a certain way, and another person could be experiencing them in a different reality in a certain way. But also, without getting too sciencey, <laughs> my affirmation would be that I always get what I want no matter what. It doesn't so it doesn't matter what anybody else is doing doesn't matter because i always get what i want everything comes to me quickly easily and effortlessly period doesn't matter what anybody else do, does nobody else like in the witch community you know you'll hear them saying how they're the most powerful and that type of thing you could easily assume that nobody can beat you i am the most powerful i get what i want Okay, so that's not even something I would worry about. For those of you who, who have a bunch of what if questions and what if and what if, you're not in the right frame of mind also. I had a, com a person comment on a video I did last, maybe a couple of days ago, these long comments about, you know, well, I don't want to be too delusional just in case you're not even in the right state of mind. D you actually have to be delusional to do what I'm telling you to do. You have to have a touch of delusion <laughs> to do what I'm telling you to do. To sit and tell yourself 
something the stark opposite of what you actually see you have to have a certain bit of delusion going on so you know not wanting to be too delusional because what if things things always work out for me i always get what i want so that's not even an option that's not even something i'm thinking about um while i'm manifesting and also another thing there are some of y'all who think that you can just give up and technically you're not giving up you you can never give up right and you're not giving up on your manifestation when you call yourself giving up all you're doing is settling for the story for the old story that's all you're doing so all you're really saying is i'm just going to stay in the old story and keep manifesting from there okay that's what you're really doing you're not giving up so you, you you can't because you're always manifesting whatever you think dominantly about any situation I really feel like there's going to be a reconciliation here. Three of Cups, Cancer Energy, Sun card, Leo Energy. Or you guys are going to be happily, happy together. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, there's no giving up. There's... Mm, pops out again. So that's what, what energy is surrounding them. That's what energy is surrounding them. Their thoughts, <clears throat> feelings, and what their intentions. Get one more. Mm. Too many. Oh damn! <clears throat> that one flew. We definitely gonna get that. So the energy is surrounding them is three of swords. So there's some kind of pain or heartbreak, maybe even a blockage or an obstacle that surrounds them. Libra energy. Okay. When it comes to their emotions, bottom of the deck, king of cups. Like I said, when we did the first pull, there's something about their heart chakra, something about their, their feelings that they're dealing with, that they're confronting. Okay. Because it is, this is causing them to just kind of withdraw from the situation with you, four swords, okay? And to kind of withdraw from just even, it makes them want to, I feel like this person is trying to get in touch with their heart. Their heart may have always been outside of here or something that they weren't really in touch with until they can You have stirred up emotions in them that they thought they could not they thought they could not feel, would not feel, you know, this is the person that said, oh, I'll never get married or I'll never fall in love with anybody again, you know, um, and you came along and stirred up all this crap for them. <laughs> you just stirred up all this crap for them. All this passion. Okay. Nine of Wands energy. For some of them, you've come in and made them want to get rid of the player ways that they have nine of swords in reverse gemini energy they're no longer feel the need to chase okay because for some that chasing and the multiple people and all that 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 soothed their anxiety or that may have made them feel better okay nine of swords gemini energy i don't know if i said that four of swords libra energy but i'm so getting an energy of i don't want nobody but you Okay, and I don't think they ever thought that they would get to that. Like, that's just not even normal for them. And if, <laughs> yeah, that two of wands keeps coming out. Two of wands, um, Aries energy. There's a decision that has to be made here. And so that's where they are. That's the energy that, that's the energy that is surrounding them. That three of swords, I definitely feel like there's another energy here that they had to make a decision about. Okay. So they may feel it may you may feel the distance or you may feel distant from this person. Let them work it out while you affirm because it's the affirming that is pushing them anyway. Because everybody's you pushed out. So if you're affirming that this person loves you, wants to be committed to you and is going to ask you to marry them. Could you imagine where their mind is at right now? Because those thoughts of wanting to be married to you and all that kind of stuff is popping up for them. But they're already in something. Just let it let the manifestation happen. <clears throat> their thoughts 
the devil capricorn energy i feel like they can't believe that you have the hold on them that you do and i feel like it's in a short amount of time okay yeah the hold that you have on them for this person wants a life with you emperor four wands energy they cannot believe the pull and the hold that you have on them that's what's going on in their thoughts they're thinking about how can I build a life? How can I make things stable for this person? Okay. Heavy Aries energy. How can I be the person that this, that, um, how can I be the person that they need me to be? Okay. But there's some things I need to walk away from. Some things that I may feel tied to. 888 may be significant. 444 may be significant. Some things that, damn. There's some things I need to work on. 888. I want to can y'all see that. There are some things I need to walk away from. There are some things that I feel trapped by. Mentally trapped by. And there are some things I need to work on. In order to be the man, woman, masculine energy that this person needs me to be or expects me to be or that I want to be for this person in order to provide the stability that I want to provide for this person. Okay. They can't believe the pull that you have on them. Because I'm telling you, they're not used to that. <laughs> they're not used to that. Page it up. They're not used to that. They're not used to that. Sun card, Leo energy. They feel attracted to you, right? They feel attracted to you. I heard ball of joy. They feel like you hold happiness in, the, in your hands or the key to happiness is you. Okay. But they also feel like there is an aura. If you look at this car, look at the beams and stuff around this, around this person. They feel like there's an aura around you that you just, I feel like you energize this person or they feel energized by you. That's why they like to be in your energy. Because your energy is contagious. Um, they may feel that you vibrate very, very high. Even if they don't know how to put that into words. They know it's something about you that just feel when they, when they get around you. Whatever you put off is contagious. Okay. I feel like they feel very attracted to you. Queen of Wands. You, one of your affirmations may be that I am magnetic. Okay. Wow. Lovers coming out again. <laughs> this person is very drawn to you sexually, emotionally, physically. This person is just drawn to you. Okay. That devil energy coming out right here tells me how drawn they are to you. Gemini energy. Some of y'all may have be Gemini sun, but have fire in your, um, moon or rising i just feel like you may be very that's way too many you may be very fiery in some way a very passionate sun card keep coming out this person feels like they will be happy or that you are happiness happiness lies with you okay <sighs> Too many. Way too many. This person got a lot to say. Give me one more. Just one. My gracious. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three cups. Cancer energy. I feel like some. This person may have called you like a good luck charm. I'm telling you. That's 777 in the beginning. For some of you guys, your affirmation is I am lucky. Or this person views you or feels that you are a very lucky person. That you know how to make things happen. That Queen of Wands is a manifester, okay? But they feel like their luck would change being with you, okay? Look at this. Queen of Swords. Two of Cups. Hierophant. Once again, this person feels like not only... This person feels like you're... They may feel like they're getting two different people when they deal with you also. Because you know also know how to be very logical, 
Okay. Very logical. So you're a fun person, but you also know how to get down to business or you know when to be serious. I just feel like this person feels that you're very multifaceted. Okay. You may be very, very intelligent or they may view you as somebody who's very intelligent and about your business. They also know that you somebody that not to be played with. Okay. Um, or they feel that way, but I, they just feel like an opportunity to be in a committed relationship, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, two of cups, cancer energy would change their life. It would change their life for the better. I want a different deck. A different deck. <clears throat> Let's get this one. I swear I love this energy right here. This last one, y'all. This video, <clears throat> I ain't even gonna assume that. Let me not assume that. <laughs> but we already 31 minutes in. See, even I have to work on, you, you see what I'm saying? Like, I, even I have to work on my thoughts, keeping my mental diet in check. It is not just about the affirmations also. It's about what you think, what you're thinking about after you get done doing the affirmations. Because if you're thinking that this person is in love with you and wants to be with you and is going to is going to ask to marry you, but then the very next breath you are complaining about this person or talking about this person about how things aren't going right, you're not staying in the story. Is about staying in the story. And most of y'all aren't doing that. So that's why when you get in those comments talking about, oh, this and that, I just ignore that shit because I know what it takes to stay in the story. And I know it's not easy. And I know most of y'all ain't doing it. Clarify Page of Pentacles. So, Page of Pentacles and the intention. This person wants to make an offer, right? This person wants to make a solid, stable offer, or that is their intent. That. Bottom of the deck of commitment <laughs> of commitment to a couple. Now this is a whole different deck. This is the smaller version of this. Their, their intention is to offer commitment to a cups, cancer energy. Okay. But first I feel like there's something that they have to, there's a chapter a cycle that they have to close out before that can happen and they have to deal with it they have to this is something that they can't so the fact that it keeps coming up that there's a decision or there's something that 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 the energy around them is something whoever this is up here in this energy this three of swords that came out twice whoever that person is they can't just wake up one morning and say i mean they can they could <laughs> you could yeah they can okay but that's not their reality, right? That ain't their reality right now. Or well, that's not where their head is. To them, they have to deal with this. They have to deal with it in a way. They may feel like they owe, especially if you're dealing with a Libra, and Libra has come came out here very uh, quite a bit. They feel like they have to be fair in this situation, okay? Now, you could affirm, you could affirm that this person find somebody else, this other person, you could affirm that they find somebody else that they, you know, break up and it's amicable or they break up and it's mutual. However, you know, you may want to affirm for that. Me, I just kind of ignore it and just let it do and just let that, let the manifestation unfold based on what I'm saying. Because if I'm saying that this person wants me and only me, that means that whatever's going on up here has to dissolve itself. Something has to happen in order to make them wanting and being with me and only me true. Okay. There's something that they got to deal with first. Their intent is to deal with this because it's a burden. So their intent is to deal with whatever this is and to end this cycle here with this world card. That is their intention. And to come running towards you. Knight of Swords. My gosh. Three of Pentacles. 
and the Empress. The Emperor and the Empress is out here. Divine Union. I don't even need to go no further here. For some of you guys, the intent is to the intent is to impregnate you or start a family. Like I said, it's for marriage is the intent here. Marriage is the intent here. Family, union, stability is the intent for this person. Coming out of toil and labor or coming out of burden, okay, is the intent here. Okay. And I feel like when I look at pathway, that kind of, um, it kind of reminds me of this, where they're choosing a different path, choosing a different path other than the burden path that they've been on, okay? Other than the burden path that they've been on. I heard come towards the light. So some of them are going towards the light. Carol Ann could be significant. Carol Ann, somebody's name could be Carol Ann. Poltergeist could be significant, somebody's favorite movie or something like that. I feel like they know when this happens that there are going to be some upset people. Maybe they're the, the family of the other person or whatever. Because like I said, I really feel like this person felt like they had things um, figured out up until now. Or they felt like they could always juggle. Yeah, courthouse. Some of you guys could be getting married in the courthouse. Somebody could be coming into some money. Sudden wealth coming from some kind of settlement or some kind of judgment. Okay. <laughs> For some of you guys, your op your your occupation is going to change, or or you may be suing your job or something like that. But you may be getting money because of it. Courtship message right behind that. Be expecting expectation behind that. Be expecting a message that's going to talk about you guys as union from this person. Hmm. Main male. Unexpected income. Some of y'all may be receiving some kind of raise in terms of your job. Or this person may be receiving some kind of raise in terms of their job. Okay? This main male. Be expecting. 8 plus 2 is 10. So, again, more, more about ending of a cycle. 777 seven, seven may be significant also. I keep saying that. And money is all through this, these, these um, other cards here. But... Be expecting change. For some of you guys, you're waiting for it. And I would and I would say to you to be doing other things while you're expecting. Okay? Because sitting around waiting and watching and waiting is it, just be be doing some other stuff. Because what I have always noticed, one 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 may be significant also. But what I have noticed is that my manifestations always popped up or came through when I wasn't really paying attention. OK, now, maybe that's just a assumption that I've held. And so that's why it happens like that for me. But be doing some other stuff. OK, but expect to hear, expect to get some kind of message about somebody's courtship, whether it be a, your courtship or the ending of a courtship with that 10 there. Poverty coming out in reverse. Some of y'all getting some money. Some money. Money plays a big factor here. Money plays a huge factor here. 10. 3 plus 7 is 10. The ending of a poverty situation. The ending of a poverty situation. So be, be expecting an increase in income. I always have money. I have always had tons of money. I am rich. I have always been rich. I have more money than I know what to do with. Make up any kind of money affirmation you want. You can use those. But be expecting a change in your income and a change in your courtship. I started off talking about courtship. But like I said, this person views you as an opportunity for you guys to grow. Not only in a relationship, but be prosperous. So money is important. The fact that it's coming up and I'm talking about this union with you guys, that tells me money is important to both of y'all. I feel like there's a healthy balance here between money and the emotional. You don't get so sucked into the emotional that you don't think about the money and neither does this person. So living a certain kind of way 
or having a certain amount of material means something to both of you guys. Okay. So Gemini, I hope this reading is helpful. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. So you'll know when a new video comes out for all your coffee and glam needs, visit www.theglamcafe.com and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.